Hi, I'm Tom from the Burp Scanner development team. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about insertion point relocation. So Burp Scanner during the crawl is trying to find paths through an application to each request that it will then want to audit so that when we go back to that request, it's valid, everything's up to date, it's all in session, sort of like automatic session handling. This means that when we are resending our base requests during the audit, they might change slightly. Things like cookies or session tokens or cache busters um, might update with each time we send the request. And if anything, we kind of expect them to. That's why we're doing our automatic session handling, to make sure they're valid and fresh and up to date each time. The problem with this is that as that request changes, the part of the request that we're actually trying to put our payload in might need to move slightly. So, for example, this foo parameter here is after this token parameter here with a value x. If this value changed length each time this base request was resubmitted, then the foo parameter would kind of move slightly to the right each time its offsets would change. If we just use hard-coded offsets for our insertion points, then we could end up placing our payload in completely the wrong place, resulting in a malformed request. Instead, Burp Scanner understands the features of the insertion point it's using and can dynamically relocate it each time. So to demonstrate it, this, I've put together this really simple uh, web application. It's got two pages, a first page that has a single form on it. This form, each time we visit it, has this hidden token parameter with the value x. And with each visit, this parameter value gets slightly longer. When the form is submitted, that parameter is validated. And if it's not of the right length, we reject the form submission. So if I send this to repeater, because I've already done a scan of this, that length isn't valid anymore. So I've previously run a scan of this application. And if we head over to the logger, we can see that each request has a payload placed in the correct spot for the value of the parameter we're attacking. So with each of these, even though the parameter is moving, we're putting our payload in the correct place. Burp Scanner can also handle insertion point index changing. So for example, if those two parameters swapped order, and it can also handle insertion point name changes. I wanted to keep the demo nice and simple, so I didn't cover either of those. So you'll just have to take my word for it, or you could try it out yourself.